Okay, so it's officially fall. We are going on a hunt for Mothman. I've got woods. Let's go see what we can find. Have I found the Mothman? No. Did I find a really cute acorn? Yes. So, you know, we'll keep looking. Some really cool big rocks. Look at those rocks. Let's put our acorns out. Maybe we can lure the Mothman with our acorns. There we go. You stay there. The Mothman want acorns? I don't know. Will the squirrels? Definitely. The squirrels will want it. Well. No! It just rolled away. It's a sign. Mothman doesn't want acorns. Okay. Let's keep going. I think I just heard something. antenna you will need a headband, black 8 to 10 inch ostrich feathers, hot glue gun with glue, some black paint, a brush, and a paint palette. Start by gluing two feathers together along the middle seam. Then mark on the headband where to place the feathers before hot gluing the crap out of them. Remember, hot glue takes a few minutes to cool down and harden, so you will need to hold the feathers in place while that happens. Finish up by painting the hot glue black so that it blends in, and that's it. wings, you will need black cotton, black elastic, and black bias tape. You can make these wings without sewing and use glue or stitch witchery or however you would like to do that. They're also really easy to completely hand sew. Totally up to you. For my wings, I chose to just make them a single layer of cotton and bind all the edges. If you would like, you can make them double layered sew them inside out and flip them, and then you don't have to worry about the bias tape or hemming anything. As for the measurements, you are going to need to figure out the following. The length of your wing. I measured mine from my sternum all the way to the tip of my middle finger, and then I just did the same thing all the way down. I'm gonna put a handy diagram here so you can see what the shape of them looks like. You will also need to cut some black felt, or you can use your cotton that you have into two rectangles. This is what you are going to use to attach your wings together and encase the elastic for the strips. Take your wing length, sternum to finger, and mark that point on the fabric. Then draw a line that same length down. Connect those ends to form a half circle. Along the curve, draw out the scallop for the wings. Once you have the shape you want, cut that piece out. Give the straight sides a quick hem. I chose to keep my hem very small and used a roll hem foot. Cut out a small piece of elastic. This will be your finger loop.
Along the scalloped side, place the elastic so that it's between your cotton and bias tape, then sew on the bias tape. Cut out two pieces of felt, sandwich between the felt, the top corners of the wings, and the elastic for your straps. Sew everything together and your wings are done. There you go, your complete wings. As you can see, this middle piece is where your straps are. You wear them like a backpack. Your full wing shape here, and then your finger elastic at the end. So you just pop them on here, and there you go. A wing. Well, more like that. Here you have it. These are super fun, and I hope you go spread your wings and fly. Final pieces that you need for this sexy Mothman costume is a black leotard. I chose long sleeve and with a collar, totally up to you. You will also need some fishnet stockings. And I chose both for modesty's sake, but also to keep things looking really nice a pair of dance tights to go under it as well. You can get these online or from any local dance shop near you. Oh, can't forget shoes. I went with some black heels, but you can pick any black shoe you like. What's really exciting about this outfit is that you can easily make it not sexy and just wear any kind of black clothing with your headband and wings. So go out there and rock that Mothman life. Thank you.